Welcome back, shooters. I'm out here for a while this afternoon. It's a beautiful day here in Kentucky, and we'll get out and shoot my little fox a little bit. And uh, you know how it works out. Uh, you get out here, and you get to talking to friends on the range with you, and you're chitter-chattering and so forth, and you, you load your gun up like such and stuff the ball all the way down so forth and get ready to prime it up to go shooting and let's see if we get him together here we go oh you know what that means I did was to pay attention to what I did doing and <laughs> I loaded a ball and patch in the gun and didn't put any powder in it something we call dry balling gun so now what do you do about it? Well, there's several things you can do about it if you uh, have the tools with you, which I don't have the tools with me, so I'm going to have to use it the old-fashioned way. One is you can get a CO2 bottle, like this one here, pictured. And you can also put that into the touch hole and force it out that way. Number two is you can take a... I can't hear where it's safe. You can take a ball puller and put it on the end of here, stick it down into the ramrod, ramrod in the hole, and twist it into the ball and pull it out like that. But personally, I've never had any luck doing that. I've never been able to pull a ball out with a ball puller. Or number three is you could just shoot it out. And that's what I usually do. So let me show you how I do the shooting out part to make it so you can get the ball out of the gun. All right, let's tilt this down here for a few minutes so you can see what I'm doing. So here's what I generally do. Put the horn up here and put a little bit of powder in there. And just shake it like this. It takes me three or four minutes to do all that. And you can also get your uh, pick out, your touch hole pick. A little piece here. And you could kind of uh, help it down in that hole a little bit. Shake it back and forth, get down the hole. And I generally put some more in there, cap it up, shake it in there, use a touch hole pick, kind of help feed it in there a little bit. It takes a while to do this, but you can uh, keep doing this until you get the bottom end of the gun filled up. It's just like loading your gun the first time with the powder in it. If you have to, which I usually do, I go a third trip. So you usually get probably 20, I'm going to guess 25 grains done into the gun. You do that. Like so. Once you feel like you've got enough done into there, then I just simply prime it up again. And... Pull this camera back up and shoot it out. So let's see if we get a, got enough powder in there to make that happen. And it's gone. So means it's all gone. So that is an easy way to undry ball a gun. If you stick it in there without powder in it, just put enough grains down in there, get it through the touch hole somehow, so that you have enough in there just to spit the ball out. And then when you're done, you can get your dram rod out and check it. And that means that mine's empty because it comes right up to the top of the march marks. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this tip helps some of you guys because I've read a lot 
of uh, questions on how to get uh, balls drywalled out of your guns. So, dry ball out of your guns. So, that's a great way to do it if you're out in the field and you don't have all the extra little tools. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time.